Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about an API called Mailbox Layer API. This API is used for verifying the email addresses that enters your database. For example, if you have um, a website and you want to do registration, um, you want to have the your contacts email addresses, there are some ways that you can verify that that email address is actually a real email address. Uh, so the services that Mailbox API provides um, are typo. So for example, if um, the person who is trying to enter an email, they make a mistake in the domain. For example, um, instead of putting Gmail, uh, they put an N instead of M. Those are the things that this API can catch. Another one is format validation. So what format validation does is just make sure the um, syntax, the format of the email that they are sending is correct. For example, it has the at and dot in it. Another one is checking for MX record. So MX record basically means um, if that domain name actually exists. There are some email addresses which are from companies and they choose their um, name of their company as their domain name and you can't necessarily know know if that's an actual email or not. So this API will help you to identify that. Um, it basically searches for the IP address of the server of that email and if it exists that means that there is an MX record for that and it will return um, true for MX record. Another service that this API provides is SMTP check. Um, SMTP is just to make sure that that mailbox actually exists. But even if SMTP returns true, that doesn't mean that um, that mailbox exists. The reason for that is some of the servers accept all the emails no matter what. It doesn't matter if that mailbox exists or not, they will receive the email. So that's why there is another service to this API which is called catch all. This is pointing at the servers that catch all the emails no matter what even if the mailbox doesn't exist. But um, if you want to use catch-all, um, it won't, you have to be in the paid subscription because their free subscription um, does not provide catch-all. There are some type of emails which are disposable email addresses um, which a user can create temporarily to just verify the email address and then after that um, you know, they won't have access to that email anymore. So in order to um, identify those emails, uh, they have a database of all of the uh, servers that provide a temporarily uh, email address and um, it doesn't 100% catch all of them because there are new uh, services every day but as soon as it is um, part of their database then they will be able to inform you that this is a disposable email address. Now let's take a look at the documentation and try to implement this API using Visual Studio 2017, C-Sharp, and Webform. 